We now know the name of a man who was killed this weekend at a construction site near IU Health Methodist. Fox 59's Eric Graves takes an a next look here at the steps in this investigation. It's pretty difficult to get an actual view of where this accident happened. There's now this wall of green fencing up here at 16th and Senate Avenue, right where that section of the tram system fell. Just over this green fence, you can see the top part of the large section of the IU Health People Mover tram system track that collapsed Saturday morning. Several IMPD officers were dispatched along with our IMPD homicide unit uh, and launched a death investigation. Video from Saturday gives a better look at the huge section of track that fell to the road on 16th Street. Marion County Coroner's Office says 38-year-old Luis Alberto Orozco Gonzalez was killed in the accident. IU Health says crews are in the process of removing part of the tram track from 12th Street to 16th Street. The tram system hasn't been in use since early 2019. Sergeant Anthony Patterson with IMPD says homicide detectives handled the initial investigation. We handled the initial invest death investigation like any other. Uh, just want to make sure that there's no foul play involved. Patterson says it was determined there was not foul play in the death of Gonzalez. IMPD now hands off what they know to the Indiana Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or IOSHA. They typically only re rely on us for questions uh, regarding uh, foul play. We reached out to IOSHA. A spokesperson confirmed it will open a safety compliance investigation, adding we should expect an update in 60 to 90 days. Monday morning, our cameras were rolling as several people in a hard hat went behind the fence to the scene of the accident. We did reach out to IU Health asking what company was working at the site when the accident happened. A spokesperson says they do not have that information to share. This section of 16th will remain closed between Missouri and Capitol as the investigation continues. Reporting in Indianapolis, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.